Hey there, this is Jennifer Simonetti, Brian, Master of Wine, here at The Weekly Tasting, where I taste hundreds and hundreds of wines to select the best wines for you. And this week, we've got Eponymous. These are three beautifully big, bold red wines that you are going to love, so let's go through them. The first wine we have in the pack is a Cabernet Franc. This Cabernet Franc comes from Sonoma, not Napa, but it comes from the Sonoma side of Mount Veeder. And Mount Veeder separates Napa from Sonoma on the southern part of the Napa Valley. And Cabernet Franc is the father of Cabernet Sauvignon. Now this wine is almost all Cabernet Franc, but it does have a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon in it to kind of beef it up a little bit. What I've noticed about wines from Sonoma, and this is probably because of the cooling influence you get from the Pacific in Sonoma, it has a perfume to it. Wines from Sonoma definitely, especially rich ones like this, have a perfume to it. What do I mean by that? Um, I notice more of a floral lift to the wine as well as a, a violet kind of tone, a violet aroma to the wine, and that's what I get in this Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc is very, in terms of fruit, it's like blackberry, black cherry, and black currant. But it's not as, let's say, green bell pepper as you get with Cabernet Sauvignon. Sometimes I think Cabernet Sauvignon can be too green bell pepper and vegetally, but you don't get that from Cabernet Franc. Here, all you get is that beautiful black cherry kind of aroma. And I get some chocolate here, and I get some vanilla that you're getting from the new French oak, but it also has some American oak in there as well, which is known for a sweeter vanilla or a coconut kind of aroma to it as well. So this has a lot of different complex things going on, and I think you'll really like this with, with beef to be honest. So if you're going for a ribeye, that acidity is gonna cut right through the, the marbling of the fat in the ribeye, or you might wanna have it with a filet mignon. Either way, this wine is gonna uh, go really well with steak, and that steak is gonna really make those fruit flavors pop, and the chocolate and the vanilla tones on here is gonna bring out the, the grilling uh, spices that you get from, from that steak. The second wine we have in this pack is a Syrah, otherwise known as Shiraz. I love Syrah. And in the Napa Valley, where this is from, you're gonna get, um, it's, it's a big boy. Yeah, it's, it's a much more muscular type of, of wine than what you see in Santa Barbara, let's say. Um, you get a higher level of alcohol because that sunshine and uh, really gets into the Napa Valley, and Syrah is kind of a beet bunny kind of grape here. And what I know about Syrah is I love its delicious raspberry aromas and flavors. And in the Napa Valley, that really comes out. You get a lot of that raspberry tones. It's also known for a black pepper spice, all on its own, without any oak influence. So it's got like a like a black spice, black pepper kind of aroma. So if you like, you know, uh, steak au poivre, you know, which has a black pepper spice, it's, you're gonna really like that. But, and you can tell that on the nose and on the palate, there's a real finesse to the tannins here. You're not gonna see the bitterness level that you see with Cabernet Sauvignon um, or even Cabernet Franc. This one's got a little bit softer kind of structure to its palate, but it's got some nice healthy acidity and Oh, this is a really beautifully bold, rich red wine that you're gonna love the comparison of flavors to, let's say, the Cabernet Franc. Compare and contrast the two. You don't, you don't have any black currant here, it's pure raspberry here, and you're gonna get that little bit of that pepper as well. The third and last wine we have in this flight is a Bordeaux blend, and it's from the McAllister Vineyard, which is also on the Sonoma side of Mount Vida. And as I was saying earlier, when you have a higher elevation, you get a smaller berry, so it's got a lot more richness. And because of that cooling influence, um, you're gonna get a higher level of acidity as well. But one thing that you're gonna notice about this wine versus the other two, this one actually has a lot more new oak on it. And I get a lot of toastiness in, this, in the nose of this wine and on the palate. It presents itself as 
um, almost like cigar-like, if you like the smell of a good cigar, um, or really dark chocolate in terms of structure on the palate. So this is also another big boy. This is even bigger than the Syrah. So this is the biggest wine I feel in the flight, and you're gonna really enjoy this for your big, bold, rich red wine lover. Um, uh, and so that the, what the Merlot does is softens those tannins a little bit, a little bit of bitterness, and the Cabernet Franc provides some of that aromatic lift and a little bit of that violet you get there. But you're gonna be able to taste the differences between these, and this one is actually really quite exciting, particularly if you like your wines toasty. So that's it for this pack. I hope you really enjoy them and you enjoy them as much as I do. And until next time, cheers.